What's going on, everybody? Z here, and welcome back to some more Astroneer. So, in the last episode, we talked about our idea where things are going on, what we're going to do, things are going to happen, lots of base building, all that fun stuff. But, but, if you guys check it out, we are currently in update 1.1.2. That's right, the official update is out. It should be out for everybody. Refresh, download, do what you got to do so you can enjoy the new things. If you missed the last episode, we're going to talk about the, the new things a little bit. And then we're going to go into the episode. So, new things. We have the extra large shredder. That is right. This bad boy can shred a lot of things. I'm actually kind of curious if they fixed it or if they adjusted it. Because I really, really, really want to be able to shred these and put them in there. I really do. But I don't know if they're going to allow that or not. So... We're going to try that. And then they also have the... Hold on, let me go over here and grab this. And these are the... No, not not the whole thing. Uh, one. Oh, I don't even have room. Ugh. Uh, let's just do this. I know it's a mess. I'm sorry. I'm sorry it's a mess, but it's an absolute mess. Uh, we streamed yesterday. Last night we streamed. Last night we streamed Sebastian here for a few hours. It was a blast. As you know, maybe realized the ground is now red. <laughs> Um, our base area is now red. Somebody commented they're like, hey, you should totally do the bottom of your base red. And I like it. I like it. So uh, we are currently printing up the extra large platform type C. That's right. So it requires two iron, two steel. Uh, so two iron, easy enough. Two steel is, uh, well, steel is an iron, a carbon, and an argon. So you are going to need... Uh, steel, iron, carbon, argon. You're going to need four iron per platform, plus two carbon and some argon. That's what you're going to need for that guy. So we're building that up right now. And then for the large shredder, the extra large shredder, you need two tungsten carbide and two steel as well. So uh, tungsten carbide, you're going to need tungsten and carbon. For that, let me go here and make sure. Uh, do, 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 do. Tungsten carbide, tungsten carbon, easy enough. So you're going to need two of those, and you're going to need two more steel as well. So you are going to need so much iron, which is why in the last in our in our stream over there from yesterday, uh, twitch.tv slash you wouldn't me if you guys want to follow. If not, it's cool, but we do stream over there live three times a week. Uh, we went and got a bunch of iron. I was trying to get a whole bunch of iron stuff. And then we also built a, uh, a platform on uh, Glacio, similar to the one that we did on Aatrox, and that is to gather argon for us because that's what we need this thing needs to hurry up my goodness but um i'm slowly like everything's a disaster here and i want to redo it but um i want to talk about what's going on over here because you may have noticed we have this giant area over here so this area is going to be our storage area this is where we're going to start putting all of our items in here and i haven't quite figured out how i want to store these things yet so i had an idea and my idea was we were going to do the was that the platform type D this one or extra large platform type B we were going to do one of these full of resources for each one but I'm kind of thinking that maybe we'll go with something like this instead and instead of doing uh 10 medium storage is full maybe we'll do eight so we can do you know one of these one of these one of these one of the, like two of these can be one two of these can be one or we could even just do one is you know what I mean we could we could cut down and we could just have a like one of these one thing of these for each deal um, I might do that because that would that would make it a little bit uh, more attainable <laughs> because if we do one of those, that's like, oh my gosh, that is so much. That is so much to do. But I don't know. We might start with this and then we might move over to this or something, but I kind of want to use the new platforms and do the do the new stuff. How was this thing not done yet? My gosh. Thank you. Um, okay, so I need to put you... We'll just put it right here for now. So, uh, yeah. Okay, let's grab this bad boy and... We'll throw it on here like so now i'm really 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 hoping no no come on why why blast you extra large shredder <laughs> converts debris into scrap okay um and there's no way to like get rid of these so i don't really have any idea what to do with them i, I could repackage them and that's probably, end up, that's honestly what I'm going to probably end up doing anyways, is just having to repackage them. I was really hoping to be able to shred them. And I honestly, I still think, and a lot of people are like, eh, you know, you, why, you don't want to be able to do that. I think this should be able to shred every platform. 
and the reason is because once you get to this tier you are not going to need these anymore you're going to want to replace everything with this and now i have all this debris just chilling laying around because i have what four of them over here we have a whole stack over there i want to i want to convert my whole base into these large platforms but i have like look at all this stuff laying everywhere it looks terrible i mean minus don't look at that because that looks terrible too but <laughs> um but yeah so i was really hoping that would be a thing um i don't think this thing is gatherable either yeah no nothing we can do with that one so i'd like that one to be uh destroyable as well but um but yeah so we're gonna start working on some base stuff we're gonna start building i think we're gonna put because i need what 40 i think i needed 42 and if i did it this way i would need 10 of the i would still need 10 of these platforms to hold all of those that's a lot of platforms wow that is that is a lot because i would need 10 because i'd actually need 11 technically and then i would also need 42 large storages if we did one per deal um i think we're gonna go that route first and if you guys don't like it i'm sorry maybe maybe we'll change it but for now i i just i think that's more realistic <laughs> and that might actually get done so um yeah and then we could always upgrade too we could always upgrade later but i think i just want to utilize these new platforms and i feel like this could be a fun method to do plus if you have all these lined up it looks super nice when they're on like these beautiful little straight lines together so um all right i need a lot of okay i have a lot of iron one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay so i have enough i have enough iron for the platforms however i don't think i have enough carbon and i think i have enough argon so i need to go out and get some carbon um well i need to go get not carbon i need to go get some other stuff but uh this looks terrible oh this looks so bad let's just get let's get some storage over here and let me just get this cleaned up because this looks awful all right i cleaned up that little mess right there it looked terrible it was just it was just bad all around it was just terrible all right so uh what am i gonna need well i need some i need a lot of like a, a lot of organic like a, a lot a lot <laughs> i think we might take the tractor out for that um, i do have a storage deal right here so i'll go ahead and i'll snag that guy um and then let me see do i have enough is there like can i reconsolidate these so i can borrow one of these storages i'm gonna have to make a bunch of storage anyways so is there literally nowhere I can, oh, okay we can put that there perfect okay good so i'm gonna go out i'm gonna gather some organic and uh, 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 okay we'll do that and then let's do let's do a wind turbine and a battery i think that'll work yeah we'll do a wind turbine and a battery for this guy that way we don't have to worry about power stuff wind turbine and a battery oh hey 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 hey, hey. okay so there's that and then let me drop off all of this stuff too oh geez oh no i'm about to make a mess again i can't i can't make a mess again let's make another storage deal <laughs> all right now we're good to go get organic let's go get some organic let's do that it'll be fun it's an adventure and then turn it all into carbon and then make ourselves some steel uh i don't want to go this way i want to go towards the hills the hills always have like good amounts of organic i could just grab all this but you can get so much over here in these like the purple hills area Mm-hmm. there's just so much there to be had So, so we just got back and i didn't realize this but we did like a backflip getting off our rover <laughs> why is that so funny oh my gosh that is the most convenient way to get in and out of a rover i don't care what you say that right there is uh strides to perfect in efficiency of entering and exiting vehicles <laughs> that was that's pretty funny all right so we got a whole bunch of organic like i said those purple hills are great for it i know there's a whole bunch of land around here but it's just like it's 
the whole purple area is like completely covered so you can literally just walk around and mow the entire area it's super fast so um that's why i did that but i'm gonna wait for this stuff to get smelted up and then we're gonna go ahead and put uh, a couple of these over here start making a bunch of steel and start making a bunch of these platforms now i also need soil so i can make uh some resin and i'm actually kind of thinking about oh my gosh i just hold on we gotta we gotta go check something else out too oh my gosh i'm sorry uh completely sidetracked but i just realized it it has to be checked out um i really wish i had an extra storage deal mm-hmm i sure do uh actually i'll just make one we will just make one let's just put two of these here for now i will grab you and you and we'll make a storage um uh, i think they changed the research amount of astronium i'm not positive i haven't checked it out and i meant to check it out yesterday in the live stream but i have not checked it out yet so i'm gonna check that out right now uh actually you know what let me just go grab it bring it back and then we'll just we'll check it out together and hopefully oh hopefully our our methods of gathering bites is not ruined i have a feeling that it is though we have the astronium let's see if the change has happened i'm scared i'm good i i don't want to do it but I'm, I'm scared now before it was a thousand bites for two and a half minutes what is it at now a thousand bites for 25 minutes no 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 they ruined it it's it's ruined it is ruined astronium is no longer oh no it is no longer the way i mean getting 160 bytes per minute right now that means they're getting 40 bytes per minute max no it's completely ruined actually okay so hold on hold on let's before we call this something terrible you are still getting 4,000 bytes in 25 minutes you make a bunch of research chambers you could still do it however with the power draw from multiple research chambers this is this is no longer the way this is not the way to get bites early to mid game it used to be but it is no longer no it's completely no it's ruined <laughs> I, yeah it is it's it's because astronium <sighs> yeah yeah it's um i'm just trying to think like i mean i guess <sighs> no it's it's not it's i mean it's it's gone like it it is not going to be a viable means of bites anymore it it it's not i mean end game right now where we're at yes it it will still work so if you do need bites you can have these going you can let them do their thing you can just let them run in the background that's completely cool uh but for early to mid game because chances are you probably have one maybe two research chambers maybe three and you're running those off of solar panels and wind turbines you probably don't have batteries yet i'm talking like early early game um we probably don't have large batteries you might we might have these batteries but oh man there's no way because to make this to make this like a fast researching thing you would have to have like eight or 12 of these things and that would still if you had eight of them i mean that's that's not terrible You'd, well, yeah, you'd still only get 240 bytes per minute. That is not a quick way. No, I just rip a strodium. Rip a strodium. If we were live streaming, I'd say F in chat for for a strodium. But oh no, it's it's not the way. Oh man. All right. Let me know what you guys think. Are you guys are you guys concerned about this? Leave a comment down below. Are you upset that they changed this, or do you think that this was a good change? Maybe it was too easy to get bytes in the beginning. Um, that could very well be. But at the same time, like. Being able to unlock the stuff with the bytes is 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 only a, a small percentage of it because sure the large rover costs five thousand bytes but you still have to go get aluminum alloy and rubber you still have to get iron for some things you have to get uh titanium alloy so you still have to go off planet to get this stuff even if you unlock it you would still have to go and get the stuff so i don't uh i don't know that that's i don't know i don't know that 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 that's the way to do it because right now uh i don't know i don't know i don't want to i don't want to make any accusations or say anything too crazy uh but my initial feelings are that 
by removing that method of getting bites, it's just drawing out the game. It's kind of like they're squeezing more time out of what they already have. And I'm all for games adding content, but I don't like when they, uh, when they make things harder to get that you already have. You know what I mean? You get used to the standard of being able to unlock stuff at a certain rate. And now it's just like, it's, you don't know, like with enemies and games, right? If you're like a shooter game or whatever, the higher tier enemies and all they are, are just like bullet sponges where you just have to, they just take so much more and really they didn't do anything. It's just the same enemy, just a different level kind of thing where it just takes, takes so much longer to do. I don't, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe it's a good change. I'd have to restart and play it through and just to see and feel it out. But, um, Astronium is no longer the way to get the bites. So rip Astronium. <laughs> it has no other use in the game either. There's nothing else you can do with it. So, uh, yeah, well, that's unfortunate. My Astronium bases are, are, uh, I mean, I don't know. Late game, I guess. Maybe it's late game. Kind of stinks though. It really stinks. It really stinks. Who am I kidding? It really stinks. <laughs> all right. So we did that. Uh, we got all these over here. Let's go ahead and start moving. Let's pull these off and let's throw, uh, one of these on here and one of those on there. Then we can start making a bunch of steel. Um, actually let's go ahead and do the same over here as well. Like that. And then we'll grab this guy. And then we'll grab this guy and we'll grab this guy. Okay. So we're just gonna make a bunch of steel. We're gonna need so much of it. Also something I'd like to see. I'd like an auto create button. If you have the stuff on the platform to make it, I would like to just make all and it would just continuously keep going over and over rather than just sitting here. Uh, that is some automation that I'd like to see. I don't know if it'll happen, but it would be nice. Little, little tiny things like that, especially like at this point, I mean, we can make a bunch of chemistry labs if we wanted to make it really fast, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Um, all right, sweet. There's that. There's that looking good. Now my base still looks like trash. It looks terrible. It what happened here? Why? Why? Wheel? What are you doing? Get, get back to where you belong there. Thank you. <laughs> Had to kick it. Just got kicked the tire a little bit, you know, uh, you know what? There is a, there's a steel just hiding back there. I was like, wait a second. Why is there two steel in there? That'd be pretty funny if there's an accidental like duplication glitch somehow, but um, let's see. Oh, new update. Okay. So let's check. I don't think you can put anything in the shredder and remove it like we used to. I really wish you could put this. Ah, I'm still upset. I'm still upset about that. All right, sweet. We're doing that. So I want to get my base reorganized a little bit, uh, or a lot of it, I should say. And then I also want to start getting the, the platforms printed up because we're going to need, like I said, we're going to need 10 of these 11. We're going to need 11 of them. That means we're going to need 44, right? 44 iron total. So 22, 22 steel and wait, where did the argon go? That's helium argon. Okay. Let's throw another argon in here too. Uh, 22 steel, 22 iron and we should be good. How many, how many things is that? Oh, it's eight, 16, 20. So about three of them, about three, three medium sources full of steel and three full of iron, which we already have the iron for that. So that's, that's not an issue, but uh, like I was saying before, before I rudely thought of Astronium being dead is we're going to need a lot of resin and I'd like to get soil. So I'm thinking about building the large Rover and or a couple of them and putting the drill mods on them and going that route for soil collection. And then also, so put, I probably would put two, three, three trailers in total. Um, hopefully just one RTG might cover them. I don't know. And then three trailers in total have the drill, uh, two storage platforms for the soil. And then on the back one, have a chemistry lab with a large storage thing that way, or not chemistry lab, uh, soil centrifuge. That way we could just constantly, like we could go and mine and then we could constantly be making resin as we go or whatever we, we, whatever we needed to. So we could also use that for, oh, wow. Oh, that would be actually super handy for getting, getting ammonium as well, because ammonium is super expensive. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. That might be the next episode. I think it probably will be. <laughs> I think it will be. Uh, okay. But let me go ahead and unlock that aluminum alloy and rubber it does not seem too hard to make. Um, and then I also do want, where's the drill mods? Um, diamond and titanium alloy. Do I want drill strength three? I mean, might as well, right? Go big or go home. Absolutely. And then we'll have that. And we already have the rubber seat. Okay. Perfect. So awesome. That that'll probably be all next episode. 
But this episode, we're going to continue on building all this fun stuff here. And we have three of these things completely full of the steel, which is actually a little bit more than I needed, but we're going to need it in the future for things anyways. So, uh, okay, so we're going to need one, two, and three of these guys full. So we have three of those. I think we're going to go ahead. I'm going to have to make, <laughs> I already made one. I made an additional printer because of how long these things are going to take. Uh, so I think what we're going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to adjust some things for a printing platform for this because it's going to, it's going to take a while if I only have one at a time. So I think we're going to put one, let's put it, if I put it like this, I think we'll be okay. And I put one here and then we move these out of the way and then we do this and then that's not going to reach. Uh, I like right there. It's probably not going to reach either. I think I'm going to have to get an extender. <laughs> I'm going to have to get an extender for sure. All right, and we'll put that one there. So we'll have one there, one there, like a shoe. And then these, go ahead and put that one there, that one there, and that one there. And we can move these over here. Like so. Like that. And then one over here, like that. And that'll give us the option to print there. And this one should be able to print over here as well. Extra large part from type C, not going to work. Okay, so like that. That should work. I do have an extender. Um where I put it though, I, I don't I don't recall. Where did I put it? Here's one. Okay, perfect. <laughs> we got it. We got it. Okay. So let's go ahead and grab the extender. Uh okay. There's that. So we'll go ahead and do you to there, you to there, and voila. We have our means of printing platforms two at a time because one at a time is going to be way too slow. But um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead. We're going to end the episode there, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you're new here, you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe as well. We are almost at 70,000 subscribers, which is absolutely crazy, absolutely insane. And I can't thank you guys enough for it. I do appreciate all of the support. You guys are absolutely killing it. But um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. And next episode, like I said, we'll probably go into the large truck and start making a soil collection method. And then I'll probably actually try and build up all of these by the next episode that way, because I'm literally going to be sitting here waiting for these things, to, these things to print like forever because they take absolutely forever. <laughs> but um, yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next one.